Hi, this is a quick video how to change the uh, combination lock for the Slack FE575. Okay, the first thing we're going to show you is how to delete a combination code. Uh, in order to do that, you have to know your programming code, which is in the manual or in the pamphlet uh, of your Slack key. Um, you don't, if you don't have that, you probably have to call Slack to get that. All right, so we're gonna um, type in our programming code now. To do a delete, you have to type it in. It's a six digit code. And then it's going to blink twice, red. And then you press the Slack button and it's gonna turn blue on the keypad. And you press two to delete. And then you press the code, the combination code that you wanna delete, minus one, two, three, four and then you press it again to confirm. And then it's gonna turn green, that means it's deleted. All right, now we're gonna test out, make sure one, two, three, four doesn't work. There you go, it doesn't work. All right, so the delete is done. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is an add. To add a new combination code, we're going to put in the programming code first. It's a six digit number. And after that, you'll have two blinks on the Slack button, and then you press it and it'll turn blue. Mm -hmm. And then you press mode one for add. It's gonna double uh, blink. And then you put the combination that you want to add. And then you're gonna press it again to confirm. Then it's gonna turn green, that means it's saved. All right, so now we're gonna test it. There you go, now you can open it. And that's, it. that's how you would uh, add a new combination code. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it useful, please give it a thumbs up so other YouTubers can discover this video. And if you like this kind of content, please share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.